good. He missed it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that has final play right there. It's been a tough pill for Vikings fans to swallow. Some have screamed at kicker Blair Walsh and cursed, but a particular group of first graders is showing grace. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how. Was Blair Walsh successful in that last field goal of the game, Addy? No, he wasn't. The whiteboard in this Blaine classroom shows the subject we've all been talking about. <laughs> Adults weren't the only ones watching on Sunday. What did you think when he missed that kick? <laughs> you can see that they were spitting out exactly what their parents were saying at home. And so a lot of it like, oh, he should be fired. The educators here saw it as a teaching moment. It fit right into their learning targets, specifically this one. And what does it mean to have empathy? Mrs. Myrie and her peers came up with an assignment. Write a letter showing empathy and encouragement. And that's just what they did. Dear Blair, I feel bad for you. You are so, so good at football. Keep on trying. We love you so much. You were so close. Keep on trying. Don't, don't give up. You're still number one. Everyone loves you so much, and you are very good. Why? I know you can do it. You can win the game. You are the best, and may, and maybe you need to practice. Love, Cody. Proof: If kindergarten doesn't teach you life's most important lessons, first grade will. We That's a How nice perspective. Sweet is that? It's fantastic. Yeah. Way to go, Mrs. Myrie. That's a great <laughs> lesson for all of us to remember. Uh, and on top of that, the class also created some artwork for Blair Walsh. Yeah, yeah they're going to mail the gifts of encouragement to the Vikings so that Blair can get them right away. I bet he will enjoy those. I hope so. I yeah. hope you saw that segment. Yeah. Yeah.